Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we'll be taking a look at just how good the macro lenses are on the Galaxy S21 series versus the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now at the end of this video, I'll be posting all of these pictures if you want to see it on your monitor yourself or on your cell phone versus seeing it here on this display versus this display, just because of the resolutions are a little bit different. So again, if you wanna see the bigger full versions, these will all be posted at the very end. Now, when it comes down to taking pictures with the Galaxy S21 series, you're able to get extremely close to your object or thing or person. But when it comes down to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, you do have to take a little step back or pull the phone away a little bit further just to actually get it in focus. Now, there is only one image I do want to show you because these right here are basically going right up against each other but I did take one additional picture and you can see that it is not fully clear right here. So when you do get the Galaxy S21 series device, you will be able to see the option down on the very bottom right hand side if you wanted to have a better focus enhancer. So on the very top, usually when you take a picture, it's letting you know your scene optimization, letting you know if you're indoors, outdoors, if you're taking a picture of food, well, down on the very bottom right hand side, you're able to select or deselect the option for better focus enhancing. So that's really what I'm showing right here is that the focus enhancer was turned off and you can see that it's still able to go uh, in focus right there as the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra was not able to do anything. Now, when you turn on that enhancer, you can see that it's really kind of moving which lens is actually taking the picture. You can see that this one's further away and then now it's gonna be extremely up close and then you can just see just how good these details are. Again, I am at the exact location. I literally placed my hand, my fist up against the wall. I made sure the phones were at the exact same location to take these pictures and this is how well the macro lens is on the Galaxy S21 series. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information information and comparisons of your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And if you do appreciate this video, please tick that little thumbs up bell that does help this video here with the YouTube algorithm. Now let's move on to the very next photo and up here, you can see that I did take a step back. I wanted to see how far back I had to go just to get that little thumbtack in focus. And so this is where it was originally how I'm able to get it here. And right there, I had to take a little step back. I moved the phone back and then it was finally able to focus, but it's not really macro until you get this close. Now, when it comes down to this picture here, again, I'm holding everything at the exact same locations. Uh, and you can see here that you can just, you know, you can just see all these little individual pieces of fabric, especially at this location here. When it comes down to this device there on the Galaxy uh, Note 20, I'm not able to get anything in focus right there, but it's kind of coming in a little bit over there, but that's really kind of going away from the purpose of what we're trying to do. And, and so you can just see how clear the difference is with this one right here. Now, when it comes down to this image, this is another clear example of where the focus was trying to be, but the Note 20 is not able to get it. It has to focus a little bit further away, very similar with that thumbtack, uh, but right here, this is what we were trying to get. We're trying to get a really good image, just super up close uh, right there. And so this is gonna be pretty much the comparison of the two. So uh, big, clear, major difference. And honestly, I'm not trying hard. I'm not taking picture after picture and deleting and then new picture and then deleting again. I'm really just trying to just go up, take the picture, move on. And that's all we're doing here. So I'm not a professional photographer. I'm just a regular everyday average Joe taking pictures. So anybody is able to do this. Now, when it comes down to this one, the you know the Note 20, I thought did a pretty good job. I took the picture first on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra up here. And after taking a look, it did not do anything really close to what the Galaxy S21 is able to do. So originally I thought, hey, this is a pretty good image, uh, but it, it's just completely false. This S21 is crazy. You're able to see, what are these, the veins inside of this little uh, this little leaf right there. And also too, I believe that the camera, uh, in, in terms of the color, the, the color correction, the color that popped out was actually more accurate when it came down to the Galaxy S21 again. So now let's move on over 
This is a very nice picture. Uh, so my son Bentley has very, very sensitive eyes when it comes on to light. A little bit of light was coming in, so that's probably why his eyes were a little bit watery. But again, I'm trying to take a picture of his eye. You can see that I'm in the exact same location. Uh, he is just as the same depth far away as every, you know, both of these phones here, but this Galaxy S21 phone is able to get it. The, the note it was trying to focus way over here when I was trying to tap over here to focus on Bentley, uh, just was not able to get close. Uh, this is what it looks like here on the Galaxy S21. So for really anybody who likes to take up close shots, uh, you're gonna love this, this camera. So let's see, I'm gonna save those pictures for another video. This one here, it was just this little tiny, you know, male and female husband and wife little little baby tiny toy it's so small and with the galaxy s21 i could just see how bad the paint job was and i wasn't really able to even see that even with the human eye or with the note 20. so again it's trying to focus over here because that's the depth of the focus it's able to do nothing this close and then when you get in even closer you can just see you know how badly detailed the painting was and this is how small it was it, it's it's honestly probably about the size of my, my pinky or half my pinky and so it's super super small again here you can see this one is actually in focus this one is not in focus it is still trying to focus on my light switches in the background so it, it kind of focused on everything back here on the note 20 ultra uh, but this is where it's able to make sure that it's focusing on what it's supposed to do so this is all out of focus this is in focus and again you can zoom in and really get in the detail on that really really small image now I also want to show off the pictures of the moon here. So when it comes down to the S21, you know, this is much more accurate of a color. Now, this wasn't the color of the moon from my perspective from what I was seeing that night. It was more of a white bright moon. So Samsung's sensors, not only are they really good with with macro setups, but their color correctness is is there. It is on spot when it comes down to the S21. So both of these here, I believe this one's either 50 time or 100 time zoom. This one right here was 100 time zoom. Uh, this one was the 30 time zoom. So it, 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 I mean, it's just such a good job. I mean, this crater was awesome just to see with this phone. You know, not everybody takes pictures of the moon, but when it comes down to if you wanted to take a picture of the moon, it's gonna be a really clear, nice shot and more color accurate than what the previous phone was, which was the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And this one was supposed to be the best camera out in the market. Uh, so here you can just see just how much better the S21 series is versus the Note 20 Ultra. So let's say that we move right on back. And if you guys do wanna see the full images of these, I'll be placing this up here in just one minute. I just gotta close out the video here. Uh, and then this way you'd be able to see what they look like you know, on another monitor, not just these displays here with with the with the resolutions and, and everything else. But I hope you guys appreciated this video, this, this, this stark contrast between the Note 20 Ultra and the Galaxy S21 series. Again, this one is the Galaxy S21 Ultra. This is the Note 20 Ultra, and it just does a fantastic job with the camera. And I can guarantee you from right now, all of the commercials, all of the other YouTubers out there will be directing a lot of their focus on the camera, and you can kind of see why. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up, especially for that YouTube algorithm. And if you guys also appreciated this video, this channel, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.